All right, so one of my packages came in yesterday. The other one should be in today. So I just want to go ahead and show you what it is. So I, it, it's smaller than I thought. I didn't. I don't know why I thought it was going to be bigger, but I got the Bird Dog Play 4K. Um, I have not set it up. I have opened it. All right, so the box was stuck. It's got some kind of adhesive thing on the side, but it's it's very small. Uh, it has a few ports, so we got the HDMI, which would go to your TV or your monitor, uh, USB-C for power. You got a AJ, uh, RJ45 for data. Uh, looks like there's a power button, reset button, audio jack. No idea what this one is for, a uh, usb I tried looking up information on this thing, but it's not really showing me much. Pretty sure I could watch a video, and the video will tell me a lot more. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, and got that monitor behind me that was connected to another computer. I disconnected that computer, so I'm going to set this up over there, and we're going to take a look. So after I got logged in and I had figured a few things out, uh, I just updated the firmware and updating the firmware was probably the best thing. So what I would recommend is if you guys get this uh, device, just log into it. Make sure you could access the download page, which I'm going to show you right now. So just go ahead and, and log into it. I don't know why this other one keeps showing up. Give me a second. That's that one. Once you're in here, what I would recommend is just go to, I want to say it was system. Um, it's telling me to log in now. So let's log in. And the, the it's a default password when you first buy it of just bird dog. So you're going to want to change that when you get a chance. And if you notice down here, I downloaded the uh, firmware from their website. So just want to give you a little information here. So you would choose the file, upload, and then from their web website because this is this is what gave me some problems uh i misunderstood what the device was so let's go here let's just go to the bird dog uh website and what it is is i was looking for it under converters it's under av selection or section so you go av section here's the bird dog so you're going to come here, and there's your firmware, release notes, user guide, quick start guide. So I'm going to go ahead and download the user guide now because I don't have any documents on this. Now we'll go ahead and download this. And I'll look at it in a few. But yeah, so once you upload the firmware, things changed <laughs> so now if you look the screen has a qr code i'm like really now now you're going to be more more normal <laughs> so once you oh wrong camera once you got the code it takes you to a quick start guide on your phone and everything so mm -hmm. setup should be a lot better from this point on so now that i did that uh, we're going to go into the av section and then under here, it says uh, NDI audio is muted. I'll probably activate that and test that later. Under NDI decode source, I'm going to check to see what's here. It even has a more section. But I, what I want is the Ecamm Live. So it's going to be my Mac computer, Ecamm Live. And I'm going to click apply. So now... I'm just going to wait behind me. It should kick in, and there it is. So if you notice behind me, there's the screen I'm using. And, I mean, there is some latency. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around with this and test it better. I think uh, when I looked at it earlier, you could actually see that it's, it's like gaps or it's chop, a little choppy and stuff, but... My setup's probably, I mean, I just bought and connected this, so I probably have to tweak some settings or something. But we'll see. 
And I mean, just for something basic to get the signal out to a different uh, TV or monitor for someone, it says audio is muted, so I'm assuming it might have some audio. I'll probably test that, or I could probably just, I don't know if that monitor has speakers. I don't know if that's going to be any any good for my test right now. But like if you were a, a, a place of worship or something like that, and you had multiple TVs, this might be an option for you to get the broadcast to all the TVs, unless you have, uh, you know, a better setup. Uh, pretty sure you could also use um, HDMI, uh, what are those, uh, HDMI uh, wireless setup. But I'm, I'm thinking more cost effective. Uh, this is uh, $150 compared to other bird dog devices that were closer to like $400. Uh, HDMI uh, extenders or uh, those devices, I've seen them run several hundred dollars. So again, the latency and stuff, if it's what you could deal with. Um, but I'm going to play with it and we'll see how it goes.